GMOs are very controversial. They were controversial when they were first developed in the 1980s, and they continue to be controversial now, although they have calmed down somewhat. Um, people are worried about GMOs. They, they think that uh, we're doing something to our food and agriculture community uh, that is unnatural, potentially hazardous. I'm not sure I want to eat GMO foods. Well, the fact is, we've been eating GMO foods now since the mid-1990s, and in these uh, 25 years or so, there's still not a single documented case of harm from the consumption of a GMO food. There's simply no scientific basis. Our U.S. National Academies of Science has investigated safety with GMOs going back to the earliest days. Every single one of their studies, which are typically two years in length and produce a, a book, a study of several hundred pages long looking at all of the ins and outs of safety, every single one of those has come to the conclusion that there's no basis for concern for the safety of GMOs and we should just get on with it. Mm, people are still a bit skeptical for whatever reason. Uh, they don't like the big companies operating uh, the technology and controlling the food supply. Um, they don't like the use of pesticides and they associate pesticides unfairly with GMOs. I mean, the use of GMOs actually reduces the use of pesticides and the pesticides that are used with GMOs are the more modern, safer, more environmentally friendly chemicals than the older ones that farmers used to use. And if we ban GMOs, farmers are going to have to go back to use the old chemicals, more environmentally damaging, more toxic, uh, to control weeds and insects and diseases in their, in their crops. So that's the, the implication of, of bad information. It's, it's a misinformed choice, I think, uh, for people to say we should just ban GMOs altogether. By the way, we don't use GMOs in the community. There is no formal definition of GMO in either the U.S. or Canada. Uh, it stands for genetically modified organism and the reason we don't have a, a, a standard definition that we use in, in policy or regulatory documents is that everything we eat has been genetically modified compared to what our ancestors ate 10,000 years ago. It's just a different methodology uh, that we used to change the genes or modify the genes and GMO itself does not refer even to a specific technique or technology. Uh, we prefer to use genetic engineering. It's a more pre precise term. But even within the term genetic engineering, there are many different technologies that are very different one from another. So you'd think that if there was a, a health or safety problem with one of those techniques, it wouldn't be applicable to all of the techniques of genetic engineering. Nevertheless, we're stuck with GMO because it is in the popular media. I have to deal with it all the time, uh, unless I'm talking to my, uh, my colleagues. Um, but when I'm talking to the public, they use GMO, I use GMO, and we still aren't sure exactly what we're talking about because everything we eat is a GMO.